Kia ora koutou, haere mai, and welcome along to the Trends International Design Awards for 2021. My name's Andrew Johnson, and I have the privilege of introducing you to these fantastic awards today. Now, although most of us were locked up in our homes for the past year or so, it seems that architects and designers have still been very busy at work, providing great places and spaces that create a heart of a home for many Kiwis. Now, these awards are not possible without our great partnerships. So a big thank you to our event sponsor, Giltrap Group, along with Razine and Casa Italiana. Now, without further ado, I'll pass you over to the man of the hour, the chairman of the TETA judging panel, Mr. Paul Taylor. Thanks for joining us today as we announce the first of our results in this year's Trends International Design Awards, the seventh year we've held the TETA Awards. I'd like to start by thanking all of this year's entrants. In the weeks leading up to entry, we were still very much in a cloud of COVID uncertainty. Despite that, I know that many designers and architects were actually experiencing some of their biggest workloads in many years. So it took a special effort to find time to also organise photography and other things needed for a TETA entry. It was definitely worth it. There are a large number of high quality kitchen designs in this year's entrance. At a Tita Kitchens event a couple of years ago, I mentioned that we seem to have established an ideal overall plan for a new kitchen. And that most kitchens pretty much follow that plan. That layout, with just occasional variations on the theme, was still very prevalent in this year's entries. But there are a couple of design features coming through that showed designers were also looking to add something more distinctive to the kitchens they were designing. One way of doing this has been a greater use of colour and texture. While white kitchens still have a place, and we've been through a phase of dark and moody kitchens, many designers are now adding more character to their kitchens by using a mix of materials. So dark lacquered cabinetry might be combined with lighter sections, or with light timbers used on some areas of the cabinetry or some sections of the island. As well as adding to the color palette, wood and other materials are also being introduced to provide areas of contrasting texture. The other developing trend this year has been designs that break up the island in some way. While the monolithic island is still a dominant feature of many kitchens, in others there's been a move to reduce the bulk. Some designers are playing with shapes within the block. For example, having faceted panels on the outward face of the island or by incorporating curves. While others are reducing the impact of the size of the block by pulling it apart or looking at different ways to integrate seating into it. So let's see how elements such as these have contributed to the kitchens we're recognizing in this year's TEDA New Zealand Kitchen Awards. I'm going to start with announcing the entries that were highly commended across the categories. And the large number of highly commended is a reflection of the overall high quality of the entries. Here they are.
congratulations to those designers whose interests were highly commended. Our next three awards are for the runner up in each of the three Tida Kitchens categories for imported kitchen, architect designed kitchen, and designer kitchen. And the runners up are for New Zealand imported kitchen, Lara Farmillo from Pogampol Accente. For New Zealand Architect Design Kitchen, Michael Cooper Architects. And for Designer Kitchen, Leonie Hamill of Cube Dentra. Congratulations to our three runners up. And our final awards are for our three winning kitchens. Winner of the 2021 Tea to New Zealand Imported Kitchen is Milvia Hanna of German Kitchens. In this new home for an art dealer, the kitchen needed to complement the clean lined architecture while using as many natural materials as possible. With the interior featuring a number of fine art pieces, the design of the substantial central island was also treated as if it was a work of art. In keeping with the natural theme, the monolithic structure is made entirely of marble, including the bench top, drawer fronts, recessed handles, kickboards and sink. Cleverly concealing the island seating from view allowed the island to have a symmetrical design as a deliberate contrast to the asymmetrical back wall. This feature adds an organic element to the design, as in nature, where nothing is perfectly matched. The judges were particularly impressed with the behind-the-scenes craftsmanship and technical solutions that would have been needed to create such a strong visual impact. Congratulations to Milvia Hanna at German Kitchens, winner of the 2021 Tida New Zealand Imported Kitchen of the Year. Hi Paul, well thank you so much, what a great privilege. I'm absolutely delighted and it's exceptionally special. First of all, I'd like to thank Trends for this opportunity and for this award. I think it's amazing and I'm delighted to have been the winner. Secondly, I'd really like to thank my client. She was amazing to work with on this amazing kitchen. Her first brief to me was she wanted something organic. It had to be organic to suit the architecture, the interior design colors and schemes and the textures that she was using. She has a wonderful architecturally designed home that's full of precious art. And she wanted some marriage of all these elements to create a harmony in a beautiful home. We started, first of all, with the design of the island. The island had to be the showpiece. She wanted a centre for the focus of her whole living room, dining room space. And of course, it was geared to look at the view as well. So we had this lovely island to work with, along with the back wall. The back wall is nicely rough sawn oak, which creates a harmony and texture but also doesn't overtake from the showpiece of the island that she wanted. The island is all marble, 12 millimeter thick marble, drawers, bench tops, sink, everything. It was an amazing creation and took a lot of time of design and work to get all the specifications right. Even as far as getting the electrical cables that needed to come into the island for power. Things where we had to track the, all the cables and the services and things like that. The other thing she wanted that was a huge challenge was a hidden seating area. This is tucked in on the end of the island and it's not obvious from the living room side. She wanted to keep the integrity and the look of the islands and the drawers on the back all as one. So to create these false drawers that we have at the end and to suspend the seating area was a huge challenge, but we achieved it. She's exceptionally delighted with the whole complete kitchen and feels it's her work of art in her whole island. And I'd like to thank her for that. And again, trends. So thank you very much. Congratulations to Milvia, who's been a stalwart in the New Zealand kitchen industry over many years. Our second winning kitchen this year is for Architect Designed Kitchen. 
Congratulations to Strawn Group Architects, winner of the 2021 Tida New Zealand Architect Designed Kitchen. Designed as part of a long-term home for a growing family, this kitchen acts as the suburban home central hub. The large island bench is ideal for informal meals or just a place where the family can be engaged with activity in the kitchen. Locating the kitchen under the central gable of the house creates a sense of volume and space not normally associated with kitchens, while the birchwood ply used to accentuate the ceiling plane is continued in the kitchen's cabinetry. The judges noted how the design makes the most of natural light, not only from east and west, but also from above, creating a unique shifting light quality that tracks the sun through the day and seasons. Congratulations to Strawn Group Architects, winner of the 2021 TIDA New Zealand Architect Designed Kitchen of the Year. That's awesome. Thanks, Paul. I really appreciate it. Um, thanks to the judges for um, granting, giving us this award. Um, there's, a, there's a bunch of people, obviously, involved in these, these projects. Uh, James and uh, James Hosking Builders, um, Phil Horner at Philby Design, who did all the cabinetry work. And of course, the um, team here, particularly Gaynor Reid, who did the documentation for me. Um, it's a really, um, really qu quite a special um, project, this one. And the clients were really, um, really amazing. The, um, the house, we called it Zona Breeze, which is a, a reference to one of the clients, Dutch Heritage, and it literally means sun and wind. So the house is kind of a celebration of of the environment of the climate and the kitchen is right in the heart of that so the the light quality and the um you know the the connection to the outside was really important to that, to that um idea um so it's um, really gratifying to be uh, given this award and we really appreciate it thank you very much and finally to the winner of our third category which follows on from his win in the same category last year Congratulations to Morgan Cronin of Cronin Kitchens, our winner of the 2021 Tida New Zealand Designer Kitchen of the Year. Part of an extensive renovation of a large family home, the design of this kitchen started with a proposed curved shape for the island drawn up by one of the owners, an architect. Given the complexity of the design, Corian was selected for the island's construction and to allow the curves to be a standout feature. The crisp white surface extends to the cabinetry on the back wall and in the scullery, and white appliances also add consistency to the look. Light oak in the island seating area and scullery shelving and oak look tiles on the splashback bring warmth and texture to what could otherwise have been a stark environment. The judges were impressed with how the result presents a fresh and instantly appealing approach to designing a white kitchen that connects so seamlessly to the wider interior design. Congratulations to Morgan Cronin of Cronin Kitchens, our winner of the 2021 TIDA New Zealand Designer Kitchen of the Year. Thanks so much, Paul. Uh, it's a great privilege to be awarded this, the TIDA Award, two years in a row. I didn't think it was actually going to be uh, possible. So uh, that's, that's uh, an extra bonus. Uh, I'd like to thank Trends and uh, for putting the CETA Awards together. It's always a highlight of the year uh, having these awards come up. Uh, I'd like to thank the judges as well, of course, um, but also I need to thank the clients. Uh, this was quite a special job for me. Uh, the client, Helen Rawlinson, was actually the surgeon who operated on my foot after I had a, a motocross accident a few years ago. Uh, and she did an amazing job of repairing my foot. So it was a real privilege to be able to repay the, um, the favor. Uh, also her husband, um, Mark Toucher, who is, who's an architect and who did all the design work on the house um, and was certainly an inspiration with the kitchen design. 
So I'd like to thank them both. Um, also like to thank my wife uh, and family for all their support. Um, and yeah, thank you so much. The, this kitchen um, is quite a complex space. The main focus, of course, is the island, uh, which was an original um, concept that was on the floor plan that the architect did, who's the owner. I was very inspired by, by the detail and the shape of the island. Uh, and so we worked together to, uh, to make the, this layout or this, this island style uh, become part of the kitchen and be cohesive with the, with the rest of the space. The, is, again, it's very intricate. The angles of the island uh, are aligned with the entrance to the scullery and the island lines up exactly with the bulkhead above. Uh, so the entrance to the scullery is actually angle, angled and the angle again lines up with the bulkhead and the scullery. So the fridge, which is the left hand side of the entrance to the scullery and the drawers to the right of the entrance are all angled as, as well as the cupboard above. Um, and trying to get all these areas to meet uh, perfectly uh, was, was quite a challenge. Uh, spent a lot of time on site uh, with this job, measuring and remeasuring and remeasuring uh, to get every detail absolutely perfect. Uh, the kitchen's got a lot of curves in it, and this was always, of course, a challenge for uh, Josh uh, from Design of Bench Tops, who does my Korean work. Uh, but also, we've made curved panels as well as part of the design and curved bulkhead um, above the fridge space, which is also part of the design and again, uh, very intricate. So a lot of, lot of time uh, went into the preparation for the build. Um, and yeah, it was a lot, quite a long process because the, the clients lived in the house uh, while the renovation took place. So it was quite a challenge for them. Congratulations again to our three winners whose kitchens now progress to the international section of TIDA, where they will be assessed again alongside winners of professional awards in other countries. Just a reminder that TIDA Bathrooms opens for entry in June and TIDA Homes in September. Thanks for joining us today. See you next time.